Craig Stutzman was still a kid the last time Gaylord Carrera was a regular on the sidelines of Aloha Stadium. For fans who grew up in the 90s, his routine helped define the UH football experience. From the moment I started watching UH football when I was a little kid, I mean, I just remember every time, uh, you know, UH scored and kicked off, you know, Gaylord would be out there and getting the, the crowd pumped up and, you know, spinning around on the ground and, and just, you know, finishing off with one of these and get everybody cr uh, crazy. And Stutzman's recollections are meaningful because few other Rainbow Warriors even have them. Even if players like R.J. Hollis had grown up here, they'd be too young to remember Hawaii's hype man. To be honest, I just loved the crowd control he had. I was kind of jealous a little bit, I'm not even going to lie. It was just, you know, I wanted to look at it from his perspective and being here for all these years, I've never seen like crowd involvement like that and you know it just kind of riled me up got me excited so anything that gets the crowd going or anything that can get us more excited you know I'm all for it. On a homecoming day where dozens of one-time Warriors packed the Aloha Stadium sideline Gaylord's return was among the most meaningful. It's just another thing that Nick's done to to bring it back bring back you know the, the good old days and and really infuse it with with the now um, you know the guys the players right now are doing a great job of of making plays and having a lot of fun and, and, you know, having Gaylord back, I mean, you know, I always call him, he's the ultimate hype man. He's the original and the ultimate hype man, you know, and, and there's nobody better than he is.